The second way. So at this point, I'm going to jump into instantaneous hypnosis. It's a lot different from practical hypnosis. Practical hypnosis, as you can obviously see, like I said, will take longer. It takes about 45 minutes to totally put into play. Um, sometimes it can even take longer, depending on your spectator. With instantaneous, there's no test. There's no setting down your spectator and having them imagine stuff. It's a way of confusing your spectator so that you can instantly hypnotize them. It's a rapid thing. There's, like I said, no tests involved to really put them under. You can do anything. Um, you, you'll see an instant where I have Brandon roll his hands in front of his face. What this does is create confusion so that he's not expecting when to be hypnotized. And also uh, shaking his hand is also another way of confusion. I break the natural motion by breaking my words of how are you doing and then pulling him forward and telling him to go to sleep. I don't keep him there that long because uh, I want you to notice the patterns here that I use. The same things apply. Your voice is a key and um, confusing your spectator. You want to take control of the situation on both practical and instantaneous. So basically the real secret to hypnosis is um, you want your spectator to actually hypnotize themselves whether it's practical or instantaneous but with instantaneous you're gonna see that um, th I use different patterns I want you to watch these patterns I'll explain what I'm doing here and how I'm doing it so you can get the gist of how to do it you can't really practice these techniques same for practical method you can't really practice them you actually have to go out there and do it so I want you to take a look at what I'm doing here and I'll explain at certain parts what's happening is, 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 the, is an instantaneous method where you don't use tests and it can actually happen a lot faster than this. And it looks something like this. You, you could do anything you want. You could sit next to them. There, there's many variations, but it, it's a, you create confusion to do it. So it looks something like this. Okay, so now what you're going to see here is a, a handshaking method that I came up with. Um, I think it's either been around... if if I'm not correct, and people have seen this, um, I took an idea from Han Wong, who created the zap technique. I took the basic zap technique, and I also took uh, the confusion methods. I threw a little bit of confusion in you. You'll see that, like I said, when I say, hey, how are you doing? Right as I'm shaking his hand, and I tell him that, I say the word sleep instantly, and with, with more oomph than I do now. But that's the way I started out doing it and uh, spectators this will confuse them because they they don't expect you to pull them forward and tell them to go to sleep they don't they don't expect that to happen to them they don't know when they're gonna be hypnotized they just expect you know that you're gonna shake their hand and talk to them and then you break that personal boundary and you'll see what I do here I will break that personal boundary and Brandon will go to sleep instantly go ahead and shake my hand Brandon see so how's it going? There you go, just like that. See, if you make him sleep, I created confusion by doing that. His mind wasn't drawn. See, it just looks like this. It's confusion. Anything you can do to confuse somebody. Roll your hands in front of your face. So the next instantaneous technique that you're going to see, I'll have Brandon roll his hands in front of his face. Now, he's looking at his hands, so all of his conscious mind is focused on rolling his hands in front of his face and watching him. So his subconscious mind is completely relaxed right now, which he he doesn't know that. No one will. They're, they don't expect you to hypnotize him. This is another way of confusing the spectator because this motion feels so unnatural to a spectator because we don't do this motion from day to day. And what you're going to see I'm going to have him do when you do it to a spectator is you're going to have them roll their hands in front of them. And then when you say reverse, you can reverse it backwards so when you say reverse again and they're going forward then you, they'll go backwards so you say reverse they'll go forward or backwards whatever way they're going they're gonna reverse it but basically what you're gonna see is that he's gonna keep doing this motion and I'll tell him to go faster and faster and he'll he'll be so focused on this motion that he won't expect me to walk up grab his hand and pull him forward and tell him to go to sleep because at that point I tell him in a moment you're gonna feel your hand fall to your lap so in their mind, they're thinking their hand is naturally going to fall to their lap. You walk up and you pull him forward right by his hand and tell him to sleep. You, you drag him right forward. And you'll notice that his body 
completely limps out. It limps out in front of him. And you'll notice that he's completely out because his body, it just kind of dangles there in front of him. So I want you to watch this and go over this technique and you'll see that once you start using it on people, it will be pretty effective. So we'll check it out here. Watch him as he wa get, get him rolling his hands in front of his face. I want you to see how his, how his eyes watch his hands. This is what I'm talking about with confusion. They don't expect this. In a moment, your hand's going to feel like it's, it's going to fall to your, to your lap. So it feels like this. Sleep. See? Just like that. It looks just like that. Go ahead and wake up. There you go. Perfect. It's confusion. As you can see, it's obviously different from the first one and a lot more faster. Now, what I want to state here to conclude everything up, and if you have questions, please give my account an email or comment and I can answer some questions. But the thing I want to say here is that even instantaneous techniques don't always work. I'm not saying one technique is better than the other, but some of them have their pros and some of them have their cons. And uh, you can see that obviously from the video and you can see that from the information that's been given to you. I want to say that when doing the hand rolling instantaneous technique, you don't have to have their hands automatically roll backwards or reverse it or faster. As you can see I did with Brandon, I just instantly did it to him. He didn't expect it to happen, so it just happened in a natural motion. With the practical method, you really got to be key on your words. That's the biggest concept there, is being key on your words and focusing big on your words and having them really get into that imaginative state and you want them to focus on whatever it is. There are many useful things you can use in the practical method. It's not just um, using an imaginative thing. You can also have them count backwards from 100 down to 1 and they can, that will work. And you can also tell them, you know, there's a little ball in your hand and you can feel it. And you want to touch that spot where the ball of their hand is the muscular part on the palm of their hand. You want to touch that. And it emphasizes that, hey, you know, there's a ball there so they can imagine it. These are things you can use. If you look deeper into the practical method, you'll see that these are more based on laying down or sitting down. And if you look more into the instantaneous, you can see that these are based on standing up or s sitting down or even laying down. It's a matter of using your words as a key for e both hypnosis. For both techniques, your words are very important. And also for the technical aspect of instantaneous. Creating confusion is a big deal there. And the reason that creating confusion is a big deal is because it helps the spectator not expect what's going to happen. They don't expect it. So then once the motion's going, they're looking at the motion, and once you grab them and hypnotize them like that, they don't expect you to do that. They don't know the moment when it's coming. These are all important factors, and I would look into them more and not just into this video but more in books and uh, watch, find other movies whatever you can you know and you'll learn a lot more in the process this is just a basic way to get you started up in uh, learning two different forms two different techniques here the practical method and instantaneous method like I said if you have questions please comment me or email me on my YouTube account or also you can send me an email at Lazarus underscore 307 at hotmail.com and I can answer these questions for you. I've been doing hypnosis for a very long time, so it seems to me, but all the skills that I've learned over the years, they've, they've come into play. I've been doing hypnosis since I was about 16 years old and uh, they just, they all come into factors. I've been doing hypnosis probably about five, maybe six years now. But what I really learned is, is I, I, I practice these concepts with people, just using people from every day. And uh, me and my friend, we would practice the practical method together. And he told me about these instantaneous techniques. And um, so I went and tried them for like a month. I started studying them. And uh, I, I hypnotized his brother with these instantaneous techniques. And that's where I first learned to use these. The practical way, I actually used on my cousin, like I said before. She was the only one willing at a party, and so I used the practical method. And like I said, it takes longer time with the practical method because you have to use all the tests. And with the instantaneous, it can just happen. But I would use both 
forms. I still use the practical method. Even when I have tons of people, I use the practical method because it's effective with tons and tons of people. And the instantaneous, I do with a group of about maybe, I would say about maybe five to ten people. That's, that's a good group because it just works. And the nice thing there is once these spectators that want to be hypnotized see somebody go under from the instantaneous, they don't expect you to do the same thing to them. But what also happens is their minds are just believing in it, so they see it, you know? And uh, i just like to thank you guys for watching this, and seriously, if you have any questions, just ask me and I can explain things a little bit more. And um, I can give you more information on more techniques where you can find them. And, uh, I hope this helps out a little bit in getting you started in uh, learning two different forms or if you're already in hypnosis and you just want to know more, then this is a good way to go. Here we go.